All right, today I'm going to teach you how to transfer music, pictures, and video to your PlayStation Portable. Now, first step, turn it on. And you must have it plugged in to your computer with a USB port or else you will not be able to transfer anything. Now, when it gets to the startup, whether you have your USB cord plugged in before you start it up or not, it doesn't really affect what happens. If you have it in while you start up, then you just have to go to USB mode or USB connection uh, manually. If you start it up and then put in the USB cord, it'll probably go there automatically. But go to USB connection and you'll get a please wait then the USB mode pops up telling you that it's ready for transfer then you might get a box that looks similar to that asking you what would you like to do what you should do is go to open folder to view files and you should have all those just like that now it's important to not get screwed up at all when titling your uh, folders they must be caps because here's an example this says music as you can notice it's a capital letter right there though you can't really see much of anything the rest are all lowercase that won't pass if you click on it nothing's in it right now because I have yet to show you how to do that but make sure that while you name your folders you make sure everything is capitalized see I never use this memory card so that's my excuse this is a purely a video memory card only I use it only to make videos with okay now that we've got those all good we just click out somewhere as anywhere works there, now we got our music, our picture, and our video folders. It's crucial that you keep those within means of where they're supposed to be. And not in the PSP folder. They have to be within the Blue Spark folder or whatever you have. Like, you should have like a removable disk if you haven't renamed it. Okay. So now we're going to start with transferring music. Now, I'll add that your music has to be in mp3 format for it to work so I will demonstrate how to do that you go to wherever your destination is which mine just happens to be my music so some people might have it to a desktop or whatnot I have mine going to my music <laughs> okay you click on whatever you want like you got you can drag it to your music folder or you can copy and paste it. Either way is fine. Now actually I'm going to add in that it doesn't have to be an mp3 but it kind of helps if it is. I mean mp3s or WMAs will work just as fine. Uh, now after you see that your music file is in there you hit the back button and you're back to this screen. Now you already know that your music file is in there, so you figure, hey, what the heck, I figure I'll put some pictures on there. So what you would do is, you would close out of your My Music folder, go back down to wherever you have your stuff down to, like for instance, mine's going to be My Pictures, because that's, well, where I keep my pictures. And you know what, I'm going to open this one and see what I got here. Ah, I guess I'll stick that one in there. Okay, I click and hold, and I drag it over to this folder where it should appear, but doesn't want to, so I'll just scooch it over a little bit, and drag it to the picture folder, it's right there, and since it already exists, uh, I just gotta hit yes. But you'll normally get like a pop-up box that has like a green loading bar. Now I go to pictures. And 
Normally you might have to go up there and hit thumbnails in order to see if it's there. Because that's if you don't already know your title. Well, let's see here. What do I got? Uh, oh, look. There it is. Right there. So that's a good sign. Then you go back up. Hit the back button. Now we're going to try to stick on a video. Now, this isn't too hard. Uh... It's recommended that you have the videos ready on the desktop because it might take a little while for it to load and like copy. So here's my video. I just drag it into the video folder and I get a screen like that, which happens pretty much to any computer, whether you're transferring pictures, photos, videos or even uh, music so yeah now that we've gotten all of our stuff in there we are gonna go close this box out and check if all of our stuff is still there okay so by now my power save feature is turned on and I'm just gonna wake it up because it's just my backlight there you go, hit circle to get out of USB mode and we're going to check and see if our music is there but, okay, music alright, we just stuck on a Beethoven Symphony, number 9 now you're going to want to make sure that when you go to the music and I don't know, okay, when you go to this icon on your crossbar menu, you go down so you get to your memory card that is one of the crucial spots. Okay. Next, you click on the memory card, of course, and see if your music is there. Mine just happens to be here. Not really my type of music, but I guess it works out. Okay. Then we're going to check our pictures. Make sure that, that picture, that really colorful Dr. Seuss picture, came in. Let's see what we got here. Always click on the memory card for photos. Because if you click on camera, your photos will not end up, or you will not be able to view your photos. It'll ask you for uh, some type of camera, which I'm guessing you probably don't have. Alright, and there it is. There's our photo that we stuck on there. Now we're going to check our video and see if our video got on there. Let's see here. It'll automatically bring you to the memory stick for the video. Oh, look at that, we got ourselves a video. Looks like it's the right video. So, if all this stuff worked for you guys, then you did it right. Congratulations. Now you can feel free to unplug your USB cord. And you can watch your stuff. Good job.